Hello, Mission Hill family. We give God the glory for another time again in His presence. It is Thursday and it is time for our midday prayer. And um, welcome in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Psalms 117, the word of God said, All you nations praise the Lord, all you people praise Him, because the Lord loves us very much and His truth is everlasting. We are the people of the Lord Most High, and we are expected to praise Him. I just want us to thank God and praise Him. I just want to praise Him for His everlasting love for us. His truth is everlasting. He is an amazing. He is holy. He is righteous. He is powerful. He is all-knowing, and there is no one like Him. And not only is our heavenly, uh, not only is our God, is our heavenly Father. It was such a privilege, such a privilege and an honor to call him Father. So I want us even right now to just take a, just take a minute and just, just give him the glory. Everlasting Father, we just want to thank you so much for your grace and your mercy. We thank you so much for your unfailing love. We praise you for who you are. We praise you for your everlasting love. We praise you because you have the truth and you are truth and you are life. You are holy and you are righteous and there's no one like you. We bless your holy name, our Lord and Savior. We lift your name up, our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Receive all the glory, receive all the honor, receive all the adorations because you are so good and you are so mighty. You are so glorious. You are so powerful. Be that exalted, be that worship, be that honor and adore, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I, I encourage you to cultivate an attitude of praise and thanksgiving in your life. Whatever you're going through, let your mind to be focused on Christ and Christ alone. Uh, always let your heart to be full of gr uh, with gratitude because of his faithfulness, his grace, and his mercy. It is such a good thing to do. You have no idea when you even can start praising him because your heart and your mind are in Christ Jesus. Just close to that Psalms a little bit further in Psalms 141. I want us to do some specific prayer today. Prayers. Um, we will start with um with um with verse three. Uh, Psalms 141 verse three. Lord, help me control my tongue. Help me to be careful about what I say. You know, sometimes words can be defeating. You can you can say words that not only affect you, affect other people. To, that are very, very discouraging and sinful, that are really not good confession at all. So I think all of us is very good to, to do this prayer. Lord, help me control my tongue. You know, the power of life and death lies on the tongues. That's what the Bible says. I'm just encouraging us to be careful what we say. I like the, the second part. Help me to be careful about what I say. You know, when you say something, it's already come out from your mouth. Let your heart to, so we can even when you take it back, you already said it. I just want us to pray to God, help let my heart to be, be filled with gratitude, word of encouragement, word that I praise worthy to your name, but encouraging to my brothers and sisters, word that will be for unity and love and encouragement, not things that will discourage that will create disunity and will bring fear and fight in the family of God or between the brothers, between brothers or between children and parents. May God help us to control our tongues, to also be careful in what we say. Will you join me to pray even right now? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just pray that you help us to control our tongue. Help us to control our tongues, Lord. Help us to be careful on what we say. Help us, O oh God, whatever we say, to be seasoned with love and grace, unity, O oh God, and faith and truth, O oh Lord, and love. Lord, help us, O oh Father, in our saying, through our thoughts, O oh Lord, the articulation of words from our mouths, O oh Father, to be, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, sound mind of the love of God. Empowered through faith in Him. Oh Lord, and seasoned by 
your grace and your mercy. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the blessings of your word. It's encouraging us, teaching us, curving our lives, O oh Father, towards what is right and truth and praiseworthy. So God, even using our tongues, O oh God, it's such a privilege, such a, such a blessing. But help us, O oh God, when we use our tongues to say a word, to be a blessing, not, not something that is discouraging, O oh God. So we thank you, bless your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. We give God the glory for that. In verse 4, it says, Take away my desire to do evil. You know, not every desire in the heart of, of people that are good. Some desires that will lead you to disaster. Some says desires that are not bringing glory to the Lord. And we all have those kind of desires. But we, you, let's just pray even right now. God, filter my desires to be good desires, great thoughts that will bring glory to the name of the Lord. Help, O oh God, to desire righteousness and the kingdom of God. O oh Lord, to walk in truth, O oh Father, and in faith. O oh Lord, help us, Jesus. Will you join me even right now so we can pray for that? Everlasting Father, curve our desires, O oh God, to straight away from evil. But God, to desire righteousness and the kingdom of God, to walk in truth and faith, O oh Lord, in love, O oh God, to shine for your glory as true children of God, because that's who we are, O oh Father. So God, we thank you so much, O oh Lord. Lord, change the desire for our heart, O oh God, to desire greatness from the Lord, love of God to be overwhelming. Lord, help our heart to desire, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, O oh Father, O oh God, your ways, O oh Lord, your righteousness, O oh Father. We thank you because you are good. Be that exalted, O oh Father. O oh Lord, as Mission Hill family, O oh God, we are praying right now, O oh Father, that you change our hearts, O oh Lord, that you curve our desire, O oh God, O oh Lord, from what we desire that will not going to lead us, O oh God, to something good, but the desire of the Lord that will lift, uh, lift us up, O oh God, and, uh, uh, lift us up, O oh God, in greatness. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Be the exalted Jesus in your mighty name. We are prayed. Amen and amen. We give God the glory because he's an amazing God. In verse 8, say, God, I look to you for help. I trust in you, Lord, and let me die. Are you looking for help from the Lord today? Are you trusting him and him for your life, for your personal need, for wisdom, for grace and favor throughout this day? What are you crying out to the Lord for help today? God will help you. God will lead your heart. You will not trust in vain in the name of Jesus. So I just want you specifically in your personal life and whatever you're going through, will you shout for help? I look for you, Lord, for help. So when we call him the times of need, he will come to our rescue. He's an amazing God. Are you seeking for help for your physical challenges? Help for job issue? Help maybe for business-related issues? Help for your children? helpful to gain wisdom, helpful for some financial needs. It could be bills. Whatever it is that our Lord is able to overwhelm your heart with a great response for your cry of help. Because he can help. Because he's able. Will you trust God up to that level? That today he will come through in your life. That today he will help you. That today, he will give you that peace that you're seeking, that help that you're seeking, that open door, that blessing. In the name of Jesus, will you join me in prayer even right now? God, we thank you for the privilege to cry out for help to the Almighty Father, the loving Father, and the faithful Father that you are. So, Lord, we just say help. Help in our financial struggle. Help with open doors. Help, oh God, for people that are crying out to get a job. Help for people that are, oh God, hurting physically. Help, oh Lord, for people that are confusing, that are confusing, seeking for some answers in their lives. Help for some people that are wondering, is this decision is a good one that I'm about to take? Help, Lord. 
trust you, O Abel. We trust you, O Lord. We trust you, O Lord. We want your ways, not our ways. We want, O oh God, your answers, not our answers, O Lord. We want your insight, O oh God, on every issue of our life, O oh Father, that you will step in, that you will glorify yourself in the midst of the need of your children. You are a glorious one. May your name be exalted forever. Above and beyond all, we worship you. We say thank you, O oh Lord. You are trustworthy. You are fast. You are powerful. You are quick, O oh God, to help your children in need. And we are so grateful. May your name be exalted above any other name. May you receive all the glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In your mighty and glorious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with us uh, today, church family. Continue to pray. Continue. Don't ever give up. Cry unto the Lord for help. Tell the Lord your challenges. Tell him your burden. First Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Cast all your anxiety unto him who cares for you. He is able to care. And he's, he's, he's loving. He's caring. He's powerful and amazing God. He is your father above and beyond all. And he cares. He is able to take care. And he is, he is faithful. May God bless you. May God bless the rest of your day. I can't wait to see you on Sunday as we come together to worship him. Pastor Paul started a wonderful series on evangelism. Let God to open up your heart to be taught by the gospel of Christ Jesus, but also to be somebody that's in his life, always willing to be missional, always ready to share the gospel of grace, the gospel of Christ Jesus with somebody that God put into your heart. I thank God for what he's doing among us in Mission Hill Church. And uh, we give him the glory, ready for great and even powerful and greater things to come. He is an amazing God. May God bless you. May you have a wonderful rest of your day.